What's going on YouTube? Turn the life here. One more time. All right, guys. See that box right there? I'm gonna grab this box right here, but it's something with this box I want to show you guys. <clears throat> I want to show you some with this box, guys. 53 footer. That front pin was on. It was sitting on the pin. I knocked it down. I already got a video showing me how to do that, guys. So I ain't do it on this one. But I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm talking about. The back two pins they won't lock in. Cause they uh, cause the, the chassis. It's all the chassis, so the back two pins won't lock in. So I already pulled the pin. So the back two pins back there, they won't, they will, they, uh, the chassis sit too low, sit too low to lock them back pins, guys. So I'm gonna show you. Here's a trick you could do to get them back pins to lock. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes the chassis is too old or too beat up to like kind of recover, man. But hope I ain't gonna get no flip, but I'm finna try it out myself. So like I said, that front pin on the passenger side was already, uh, already knocked it down. Now, now I ain't going uh, I ain't gonna tug it too hard, but let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. That's locked. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna pull it up in a minute, but let me show you guys right here what I'm talking about. I already pulled this earlier, so I already pulled this pin right here so it can slide. But check this out. Back here, you may find this sometimes. You see how this sit flush? See how this is flush to the uh, to the chassis? But right here, you don't have the case because some of these chassis are old. They old, so about all this overhang right here, the back of the chassis start falling down a little bit, and you have this space right here. A way to kind of get these level. Sometimes you could, uh, sometimes you could push it up. Sometimes you could push it up with these pins long enough. You could push it up and turn it, but I wouldn't recommend that way. See that's right here. Look. See how low it is. See the space? The pin ain't gonna be able to turn. It's gonna hit that right there. So, get this right here. I'm gonna slide these tandems all the way back. It should lift this up. I should be able to lock these pins. Then I'm gonna slide them back forward, guys. So, yeah, check it out, YouTube. So, all right, this is what I did was, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I meant to slide them all the way back. That way I know for sure it'll lift this up. But you can see, it locked in right here. It locked in right here. It went probably went about a good five holes back. And locked in. So I was coming to unlock it again, but I said skip it. Let me go back here and look. And you can see, it lifted up some, guys. Enough to close this. Because all you're doing, because there's so much overhang on these older chassis, they start to, the further back it go, it start curving down so it just won't lock. You can see right now, look, the space is gone. I'm able to lock it now. See? See? Now I'm gonna lock that in too. I need to get that one out a little bit more. But that's in there. Good. Good. New nuts on that. So there you have it, YouTube. So when these things don't lock sometimes because the chassis is so old, that uh, it they won't lock because it's just so old. The farther back the overhang is, the more overhang you got, guys. The more, uh, it's hard to get the things to lock, guys, pretty much. I lift that up, guys. It's already up. Make sure both arm up. Inspection good. Hopefully there's no holes on this box or the chassis. I know at least ain't no storage. Air running back there is filling up. Bush is okay. So, yeah, guys. So, anyway. Anyway. Hi right, YouTube, hope this video was helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going around here. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.